Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Michael from Nibiru News and from someonesbones.com. I have decided to do a little bit of a change of pace today. Rather than showing my ugly ass mug on camera, I am down here at what I would call the lake where I figure I would do my broadcast for today from. I might stop reading the story every few moments just to pan the camera around. And I realize there are some inventive people out there who might recognize the lake and say, oh, we know where Mike is. Well, rest assured, this lake is far enough from my home and my bug out spot to protect my identity. But to those people out there who religiously say that Mike films his outdoor scenes behind a green screen or from his mom's backyard, well, the Adirondack Park is my backyard, which happens to be the largest state park in the United States outside of Alaska. And I'm not sure how many acres it is. I haven't looked that up in a while. But I want to go ahead and read my story today. And then, as always, I will let you guys go and get on with your week and probably talk to you within the next day or two. And it's very bright out here, so it might be difficult for me to read from my tablet. So please bear with me. And the title of today's story is Plot to Kill Putin Over Nibiru Disclosure Foiled. And I shall read. Last week, while en route to the G20 summit in Hamburg, Germany, Russian President Vladimir Putin's plane diverted over 300 miles to avoid overflying Poland and NATO-aligned Baltic states. His IL-96, which he often pilots himself, touched down in Germany over three hours late. A Kremlin spokesperson said the course change was a precautionary measure and that Russian intelligence had not received any credible threats against Putin's life. However, our Moscow source, former KGB agent Stronikov, Stronikov Isaac Stepanovich, unearthed shocking information <coughs> excuse me, that sharply contradicts the official narrative. Western deep, sta deep state operatives, he said, had targeted Putin for termination in response to the Russian president's promise to warn the world about Nibiru on national television during the nation's November 4th Unity Day celebration. Got to fix my camera. One moment, please. All right, here we go. The sinister plot, our source said, almost succeeded. Minutes before Putin's plane soared into the sky, the Kremlin intercepted unusual chatter indicating that dissident Estonian military officers planned to shoot down a high-profile airliner over Poland. Moscow transmitted new navigational, navigational coordinates, instructing the pilots to veer away from Belarus, Poland, Latvia, and Estonia. Our Moscow man said the following, it is highly unusual that a presidential plane would alter heading without a dire reason. Many times in the past, diplomatic flights had overflown NATO countries without incident. But now, they want to murder Putin because he wants to tell the world about Nibiru. These people are criminals. They must be stopped. My people are still putting pieces of the puzzle together. But now we know many facts on what has transpired. Give me a second here, please. I'll try and zoom in here. It's so bright, I know I'm probably not picking up much out here today. I should have come out at sunset, but oh well. And I'll continue reading. Approximately one week prior to the G20 summit, a band of 8 to 12 Estonian operatives entered Poland using forged, forged credentials. 
they traveled incognito to the, and forgive me on uh, my Polish pronunciation names, Pujeka Bukova, or Beach Forest, a remote wilderness almost directly beneath Putin's original flight plan and established a base of operations. And my tripod keeps messing up here. And I quote our source. Somehow, these criminals were equipped with Russian-made air defense weapons, including 9K-34 Strela-3 shoulder-fired portable missiles and a 2K-22 Tunguska, which is a large track-mounted platform. I do not know if the shoulder-fired weapons could have reached Putin's plane unless the Estonians relocated and fired while the airliner descended but the other weapon systems could have blown Putin out of the sky. And since evidence of Russian technology would have been found, everyone would have blamed the assassination on Russian anti-Putin opposition. The Kremlin, Stepanovich said, discovered physical evidence of the plot after Putin had safely landed in Hamburg. Under the cover of darkness, a team of Spetsnaz located the abandoned Estonian camp and found two man-portable air defense weapons. The tracked vehicle, however, was nowhere to be found. The tracks led in the direction of the Polish city of Szeszyn, but Moscow denied the unit commander's request to pursue the Estonian agents. And I quote Stepanovich. We do not know who specifically armed them, armed them, or how the weapons were delivered. What matters is that Russian weapons were found. This points to American involvement. I doubt President Trump knew anything about this operation. This is deep state. People loyal to Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. Criminals who have perpetrated the Nibiru cover-up and continue their insidious agenda against mankind. In closing, Stepanovich believes that deep state operatives recruited Estonians because the nation's active duty and retired military officers still be begrudge Russia's 1940 occupation and annexation of Estonia. And he concludes by saying the following, Even though Estonia declared independence in 1991, tensions remain high, Stepanovich said. These people don't care about Nibiru. They don't know about Nibiru. They care only about revenge against their former oppressors. And that concludes the short piece I wanted to go ahead and read today. And it's been difficult maintaining my camera here. It's kind of sitting in the water. If I get a, a better day, I'll come out here and do this again. Preferably at sunset. There are some other people on the beach out here right now. Usually it's closed on Tuesdays and pretty empty. But maybe I can edit the video so that I don't want to catch anybody else in the video. So I'm just going to pan in one direction. And out and beyond. Unfortunately, my LCD is so whited out right now, I cannot even see what I am filming. But in any event, people, this is Mike with Nibiru News and someonesbones.com signing out. And I have a few other pieces I am working on right now diligently. And I hope to get that information out to you shortly. Have a great day and a happy Tuesday evening. Thank you very much, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you who take the time to listen to the articles that I publish. Thank you.